Peace and love, Taurus. Peace and love, and welcome to my channel, Ratchet Oracle 22. Please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button, and also hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when the readings are posted. This is going to be your end of the month, March 2023 reading. All right, let's see what Spirit has for you, Taurus. Shuffling for Taurus, end of March 2023. Shuffling for Taurus, end of March 2023. Shuffling for Taurus. All right, Taurus, you have you showing up first here in your reading. So it's all about you at the end of the month. You're putting in more time, effort, energy into yourself. You could kind of feel alone or you could feel like you're having to travel down a, a road by yourself, okay? Some people could have walked away from you or distanced themselves from you or either you're walking away from people or distancing yourself from those people because you came out alone, headstrong in this reading. But you could feel like you're having to learn a lesson by yourself, okay? Some At some point in life, we all have to come to that fork in the road where there's a journey that we have to travel alone, Taurus. You have the 10th house. It says your destiny. So the journey to your destiny may be a lonely one, okay? The journey to your purpose in life, your mission, okay? You may have been depending on other people to like, hold your hand and help you get there. But I'm feeling like this is a journey that you're going to have to travel by yourself, Taurus. You may be feeling lonely at the end of this month. You're trying to figure out the 10th house is career. Okay. So you're trying to figure out where you're going and what, or what you're going to do career wise as well. So there's a heavy emphasis. I don't know, whatever you're doing right now, either doesn't make you happy or you don't really have a plan. Yeah, Saturn. Saturn puts restrictions in our way. I feel like your relationships are being blocked because you you become too codependent, okay? So now you're having to travel down a road alone, all right? And you're having to deal with this influence of Saturn, which brings blockages and obstacles and restrictions until we learn our lesson, okay? So you could be feeling blocked in terms of work or you could be feeling... Saturn is hard work, not just restrictions. So you could also be feeling as if you have to put in a lot of work to get a little, okay, in terms of your career. Um, or there, you could just feel like there's a long road ahead of you before you get to where you want to be. You have the seventh house here. And the seventh house is relationships. And the card says get a fair deal. So you could experience some obstacles and restrictions. Just like I said, your relationships, you're feeling alone right now. People are just falling by the wayside. They're distancing themselves from you. Um, they're not as available as they used to be for you. Or either you're distancing yourself or just placing yourself in this hole um, and just wanting to be alone. But there is a change happening when it comes to your circle or your soul tribe. Okay, and like I said, I feel like this is an issue of co codependency. You depending on others way more than you should have and you losing sight of the bigger picture and the bigger perspective here, which is you and you becoming too caught up in someone else's journey and not really focusing on your own journey. So Saturn had to step in and like, ah, ah you're making a wrong turn. Okay. Yeah, I can't make this up. Inner journey. Do you see that? Inner journey. This is the inner journey card. And I know it's kind of hard to see. But the inner journey card, Taurus. Wow. I can't make this up. Only you can decide right now. Only you. No, no one else can do it for you, Taurus. You have the sacred space card, basically the same thing as inner journey, okay? This is a sacred time for you. You must travel this journey alone. Um, you have past, present, and future. So I feel like there's a heavy shift, okay, where things are being stripped from you. People, things, anything that you had attached yourself to, even a certain outcome. I feel like nothing is what 
it once seems, Taurus. I don't know. Spirit's telling me somehow you lost, you got lost. You lost track of what mattered most. Yeah, you have the abundance card in reverse. All right, so you could be trying to like save up money for something or scrape up money for something or rob Peter to pay Paul or so, yeah, something about your finances. It's like, I don't know. I feel like you're being humbled in a way because somehow when you did have it, you got too carried away. All right, lessons, Taurus. I feel like this end of the month for you is all about lessons. Lessons. Thank you for the lessons that you taught me. Life is teaching you some lessons that you may not understand now, but you'll understand them later. Shuffling for Taurus. Taurus, I don't know. I keep getting that you're you're not on the right path or something. So you had to be geared towards the right path. Eight of Pentacles energy here. Definitely fine. Yeah, the star card in reverse. Upright. This is the enlightened being. This is the person with the wisdom, the knowledge. This is the, the star of the show. It's in reverse. Okay? So you may feel like... I don't know you just may feel like people are not seeing the light in you anymore okay and i don't know i don't know you may also feel like your reputation is not as good as it used to be but that star card is in reverse okay so the lack of peace okay the lack of healing yep Queen of Cups, you're having to heal from something or you're needing to heal from something. You got the star card in reverse and the Queen of Cups up, right? You need to heal from something. And I feel like whatever this is, you need to heal by yourself, okay? Four of Swords energy. There's a lot of regret happening for you at the end of the month. You regretting some choices that you made. Nine of um, Wands here, okay? You regretting some choices that you made. You... um realizing that you put in a lot of work and effort and invested in a lot of places where you did not yield a return okay ten of cups um you just want to be happy all right taurus but it feels like it's a long journey just to get to a happy place okay it feels like you just keep making the wrong choices to get to yeah the world card okay something is over a cycle is over a cycle is over. Something is ending. And maybe this ending is hard for you. Okay? Maybe you were on a specific path with some people. And now those people are no longer there. But I feel like your journey to happiness is just seeming so hard. Okay? You even have the king of swords here. Okay? So you may feel like the world is being hard on you. Okay? Or you may feel like someone has turned their back on you. Or, or people have turned their back on you. Yep, five of swords, conflicts, arguments, fighting, disagreements, the magician card here, um, manipulation. There's something going on with your close relationships, Taurus, um, or this is you being conflicted within yourself, okay? But overall, the message that I'm getting for the end of the month is that you're feeling lonely, all right? You're feeling left out in the cold. You're feeling like people have detached themselves from you. Um, and really, I feel like all of this, you being alone is going to force you to look at yourself more. When you're surrounded by people, Taurus, you get distracted. You focus more on them and what they're doing and their journey and their mission and you forget about yourself. And I feel like that's what happened along the way. You forgot about yourself. So now you're being stripped of all your distractions, okay? Financial distract, any type of resources, okay? Any type of attachment that you had you're being stripped from those things and it may feel lonely but i do feel like it's for a good reason all right taurus peace